Hey yo, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Thursday, September 16th, 2021. Already halfway through this month. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity level is at 79%. It's overcast, rain in the area. Uh, 30 degrees Celsius. It's warm out there. And the air is kind of thick. I'm gonna call it a call it an eight. Huh. It's really difficult to get a deep breath. So, uh, anyhow, <coughs> got up this morning and the water was off. Not a pay your bill thing. It's a there's a leak somewhere in the neighborhood in the park. And in order to fix it, they have to turn the whole park off. It happens quite often. Well, shouldn't say quite often. Once every two or three months. But it's kind of startling when you go to make your coffee and there's no water. <laughs> Yikes. Now what? So. Uh, I'm running without coffee this morning. You would think that I would keep a jug of water in the refrigerator. But I seldom do. Couldn't wash my face. Yeah, I just not real, not real happy with doing days like today. Oh, and it's another hot and muggy day out. Another day that there's things that I would like to get done or things that I would like to do. That I just can't do outside. So. I don't know. I can't say that. We'll see. We'll see how it, see how it feels when I get on the other side of the river. But anyhow, one of those things that I'll talk about is I want to get out and do some meals, do some video meals using TVP, textured vegetable protein, or textured soy product, or however you want to refer to it. Oh man, those guys are ominous. Um, I bought a big old, big can of it. And I've been playing with it. Uh, experimenting at home. Just to see how it cooks up and what I really think about it. I mean, It's not going to fool you. It's not not really amber. I mean, you know, it's textured soy. So, that being said, I'm not mad at it at all. Um, I've used it in three different dishes, and like I said, wow, it it's it's a little different than than hamburger. Some of that might be because I know it's not hamburger. Excuse me. Like last night, um, well first, yeah, last night I made up a, a bowl full 
uh, about a half a cup dry. And that gave me almost a full bowl, full bowl once it rehydrated. Um, and I made a quickie sloppy joe with it. Just ketchup, mustard, a little vinegar. And uh, I did it a little differently than most people seem to do it online. Uh, they will rehydrate it. And then that's basically about it. Well, I do a couple things differently. And I'll show you all this when I do do the videos. Do do? When I actually do the videos. But it goes along with my reasoning when somebody says to season the pasta water and then they just add salt. No. Um, for me, when I heat the water up, I've got Worcestershire sauce, sister sauce, uh, beef bouillon, uh, I throw my peppers and onions, dried peppers and onion mix into it to start it rehydrating a little bit sooner than the, than the protein, but it takes a little bit longer. Then I mix in the protein. And they say to let it sit for like up to 12 minutes. I'll let it sit about 12 minutes, look at it, and maybe add a little bit more, a um, little bit more liquid, and then let it sit a little bit longer. Because I don't think it gets uh, soft enough in the, in the amount of time that they say to let it soak. So last night the extra the extra liquid that I added was my sloppy joe mix uh, my homemade mix which is just mostly ketchup a little bit of yellow mustard a splash of vinegar and a touch of honey If you got honey, if not a little bit of sugar, or leave it out. Um, ketchup is already pretty sweet. My vegetable blend is all dried. It's uh, onions, garlic, green peppers, and jalapeno peppers. So just those, con just those, just those condiments. That, that little bit of vegetation uh, sorry there's a guy on the side of the road with gas can lying on the side of the road um, instead, instead of traffic cones so yeah there's very little very little that went into making that stuff up last night. I only dirtied one dish. <coughs> and, uh, it was good. After letting, it, after letting it sit for a while, I think I let it sit all in all about 45 minutes. I let it cool down. But one way I like, I like eating Sloppy Joe cold on crackers. And that's basically what I did. So, I can't, again, I can't say with 100% truthfulness that you know, it's not my preconceived notion because I knew what was in it. It was good. Um, And the way I did it the other night, it was just I just used I just used a, a beef bouillon and the, the who's your sister and uh, some peppers and onions and whatever. I cooked it up just like that, kind of just a a beefy sauce.
and threw it in with some ramen. And yeah, it was not five star cuisine by any means, but I wasn't shooting for that. There's several reasons why I decided to try this. It's, I just had it in my head to try uh, doing some uh, doing some like on the road meals, different ways to have have a you know a halfway decent meal or a halfway decent snack or whatever when you're out driving using a, a dried meat product. And yeah, you know, this has been something there for a while. The other thing driving it is you know, the price of hamburger. So you know, hamburger is like almost four dollars a pound, over four dollars a pound in some areas. Um, a full cup of the TVP comes out to around a dollar, maybe a dollar thirty, and that'll make a pound, or a decent size, but a decent pound of uh, fake meat. So, like last night I used two quarter cups, and two quarter cups to make my, my Sloppy Joe mix, and uh, it was all I could do to eat all of it. And, uh, so I don't know, that was what, 50 or 60 cents plus the condiments and whatever, so. Yeah, that's the other, the other reason I've been, I've been doing it, it's just economics. Um, does that mean I'm not going to use ground beef? Heck no. <laughs> I still like my court, my ground beef. I mean, there are ways that they say, you know, to make up a, a vegan burger or whatever. Uh, I'm back. Well, alrighty. Just a, uh, that was my daughter, just a little change in uh, who I'm picking up today. So, anyway. Uh, now I'm going to have to weave this all together just for my app though. <laughs> but uh, that's it, folks. Thanks for driving along with me. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. You know what? On Facebook, let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. But I'll see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Slaunchy, y'all. Ugh.